Hey guys, SonicWorlds13S here, bringing you my basic vending machine. I would have released this earlier, but my computer broke down and I it got reset, so I've had to redo everything. But for you guys who don't know, pretty much my basic vending machine is um you pay X amount of money in here, and it gives you whatever you want over there. So I've got four for the payment right now, set up with a whole bunch of different colored wool, because I love wool. So for this you need four emeralds, so one. And if you look behind here, a whole bunch of piston stuff will go. There's the first one. Two. It's a little slow. Three. There we go. And four. And there's a whole bunch of wool. <laughs> Silly me. But what's nice about the system is um you can pretty much throw it as fast as this pressure plate resets. So one, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. Another nice thing is if you chuck in the wrong thing, so say if I threw in some redstone like so as you notice not a single thing happened the only reason it's because of this little system here which I will explain to you later so alright let's get to building this thing okay first things first we're gonna wanna build a platform so um, this isn't necessarily um, 10 blocks high, but I like to go 10 blocks high. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then just get rid of the rust. Now if this part is, uh, you need a 10 by 10 platform for the um, version type of one I'm making, but you can always just adjust this to your will. So, so 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and just fill in the blanks like so. Damn it. <laughs> um. The reason why I put it up 10 high is just because um, it was easier for me just in case um, it went down too low. But um, once again, you can just adjust it depending on how your likings, I guess. Okay, now we've got this 10 high platform. We're going to um, build a little frame here where the payment comes in. So you just need to go 1, 2, 3, up, across 2, then make a, a f kind of too high sort of doorway thing. Next, we're going to want ice. Um, so, if we put ice here, and we're going to want, um, just give me a sec to organize my inventory. Mm. We need. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to stick a fence behind this ice and a pressure plate on top. Next, you're going to want to surround this area so that the pavement doesn't just fly everywhere. So, like so. Uh, extra layer. Leave this one unlocked uh, with no block so that the redstone can actually go through. Uh, don't put any piece here, otherwise the blocks won't fall through. And up, so, up here, like that. Um, next, you're going to want to build down here, like um, underneath this by one and stick ice here. It's too wide, go out three, then only on the left side you go out two more. Next we're gonna stick a little platform around this, just a, a barrier around this, like this. Okay, next we wanna expand this ice part out. So one, two, three, four, and then the last two with an extra piece. Then surround it with a railing again. Here you're going to stick your dispenser and you're, 
from up here next to the dispenser you're gonna want to build a little barrier that's too high instead this is to prevent um, pieces from flying out off onto the block itself when um, the dispenser shoots it out next you're gonna want to grab a sign um, and stick it right here this is to prevent water from flowing through it so if you stick um, water here and here you've got the starting part here next you're going to stick another um, fence post here with a pressure plate on top put two, a block there and then build the ice oh, loop, uh, ice out one and then build it like so so two three out and then two more on the left build a little barrier around it but this time we'll go all the way so like that you can delete that really um, next we're gonna do the, a little area where items will fall if you pay in the wrong thing you can remove this so you can just steal items that people do I like this um, if they try to cheat you oh I forgot a little block here um, but pretty much I use a pressure plate and fence post here um, place um, surround it with uh, blocks then underneath I stick glass on the two si um, no normal block on the two sides glass here um, normal blocks on the corners and bring the corners up bring the corners down like so fill this area with um, ice uh, glass and make fill in the area here leaving this little area here so they can walk in and pick their items up okay you also need to stick some water here now for the redstone of this part what you need to do is grab um, oh shoot I forgot another part but pretty much what I did you gotta stick a red uh, block over this water here just next to the sign and um, f bring the redstone circuit with um, dust all the way up to above the dispenser so when this pressure plate activates it'll shoot out the item whatever you choose to shoot, put in there and it'll come over here preventing the same item from going past it you can change it to whatever you want but try and don't fill the dispenser with multiple different items otherwise it won't work you bring the um, redstone dust up to here and a repeater here and that's the first part done okay so next we want to build a one tick pulsar to do that um, we are going to stick a block in front of this repeater torch on top of that block block above that torch and a redstone dust on top of that block then next to the torch you're going to stick another block and a redstone dust on top go across one and down one stick a redstone dust on top and then at the end of that stick a torch then underneath this little area here where the gap is you're going to build out to delete the middle block and stick a free tick delay repeater there okay so pretty much what this does is um, sends out a one tick pulse here where the torch is like so one tick pulse just a quick blink okay so next you're gonna put um, a block underneath this um, torch build out three so one two three build out two one two build out four one two three four build out one one and then build out four three two three build down and across one and then go out three more next we're gonna use a total of ten repeaters here so one two repeaters reds and dust around the corner repeater dust repeater 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 dust dust repeater repeater dust dust repeater dust repeater so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we're gonna wanna put all of these on four tick delays the reason why we have such a long delay is so that the object has time to travel all the way down here activating the next pressure plate and all the way 
Um, I like to use 10 because it's the most reliable but if you find one that's shorter go ahead and use it. Okay so from here you want to build out six blocks next to this torch so one two three four five six build one out and then build four uh three more in one two three okay next we're going to be using eight um repeaters so one two three four five two redstone dust more repeaters so one two three five plus three is eight then we set all of these on four ticks as well once again if you find a shorter time that works well you can do that but just remember that this needs to be longer by about um, yeah I would say about at least eight ticks okay so let me give you a quick demonstration of what this looks like when you hit it the current will go through and end up here okay so for this next part this is going to be um, where the payment is accepted so you'll build up one two three here grab a sticky piston and stick it at the end here it won't get powered by this redstone because it's not pointing directly into it so in order for that to happen it um, will need to be directly into it like a straight line and then it have to be right here in front of the line so you're fine here stick a block in front of that and over here we're gonna stick a block in front of this repeater build across to the side down one and across one across one more and up and across one stick a redstone dust on both ends here a redstone torch on this end with a repeater facing into the dust here put a block above it with a redstone torch on top okay this is a very um, this is a RS Norlatch, a vertical one so pretty much how this works is um, if I stick a button here and here if anything happens on this end which is this current nothing will happen but if something ends happens on this end which is not powered it will swap the current pulling back this piston stopping this current from going through meaning that a piston that's going to be above it won't get activate meaning the payment won't go through so if I reset this that's its default state and this is just a reset line okay so to for the cancellation line so pretty much how this works is um if the item is thrown in and it's not accepted because and it's not stopped by what other item um, comes out from the dispenser it will um, hit this t um, pressure plate which will activate a redstone signal that will come out all the way over here and out over here so you'll build out one block with a repeater on top build it out um, one two three four I think and then start building no five and then build up one then just connect it like so so when this pressure plate activates it hits the reset the cancellation line which then means that um, this can't power this piston here and the uh, payment doesn't go through and that's how come when I threw in the wrong things before it nothing happened next I'll show you what to do with here you'll need to stick two pieces of sand on top of that uh, two blocks out here and one block here for now okay so this is the basic payment system where the payment comes in with a cancellation if the wrong item is so I'll show you the next part now okay so for this next part I'll show you to how to build a shift register and I'll explain what it does afterwards okay so first of all you want to stick a torch here with a repeater here so it's always constantly on on the other side you want to stick a torch a repeater sorry and then build out two with a redstone and a repeater we're going to build this out a few times so leave a gap build out three um, repeater dust repeater come around build leave a gap build out free um, repeater dust repeater and then we'll do that leave a gap and stick a repeater with a redstone here so pretty much there's one two three gaps in total okay so underneath these gaps you're gonna build one 
two, three, four down. Destroy the blocks on top. Stick a normal piston, um, not a sticky, a normal, on top of that. You'll notice it gets powered, so you're going to want to destroy this block in a sec. So just build this out all the way across, and then just place it wherever there is a gap, like so, that you can remove them. Oop. Like so. So in total, four pistons in a line. Next, you're going to stick a block on top of that piston with sand on top of that. And repeat that process. Oop, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, now from each of these redstone dusts, we're going to build out three. So, one, two, three. Build across down one, across down one and then lead it into this block here one two so one two three one two three across like so and then one whoop one two three one two three across okay now that we've got this shape going on we're gonna put her re two repeaters here redstone down the stair thing repeater here whoop not there here and a redstone there. Repeat this process for all three of the areas. Okay. Yep. Next, you're gonna wanna set all the these repeaters, except for the ones on this main line here, all the ones that we branch out onto four tick delays, making a total of twelve ticks. Okay, now from here I can explain what a shift register is. Pretty much when um, this is powered without it being cancelled, it will shoot up, allowing a current to go through. The current will first go along here, but it won't be able to go through because there's no block here. So then the per current will stop when this comes back down. Then it will go around here and power this block here, which then will push this up. Um, I'll give you a quick demonstration like so and then the current can go on to the next one so pretty much a shift um, register um, is um, a line that will only go on go through to the next one if the previous one is open so if I give you a quick demo by hitting this one hopefully it doesn't screw up anything yep see doesn't go through then if I hit it again doesn't opens up, then go through this one, and then one last time, it will open up this final one. Let me just set the time today. Okay. And that's pretty much what a shift register is. This is my own design with pistons. There's probably a different versions or more compact, but I like this design. Helps you see. In fact, you don't even need sand on top of this. Or, um, but I prefer to use sand because it's easily um, different. You could use a different block. So from now, we're going to add a sh reset line. So when it gets to the end, instead of all staying up so the payment just keeps going through and through, it'll push them all down. So what you want to do is build, um, let me see, um, first of all, build up three here. Destroy these and build this all the way across along uh, on top of these sand parts. Oh, and by the way, for each sand part, that is one payment. So if um here, what I mean is like for one payment is one chuck of whatever you want, like say emeralds from what I used earlier. So when you use one emerald, since there's four of them, one, two, three, four, four emeralds is required for it to go through. Anyways, continuing on with the reset line, you're gonna stick a uh, piston above all these sand parts and you want to leave this in here next you're going to run a redstone line across the entire top of this next you'll build out here and build out one two three and over here you'll go one two oop, two three and start go up here like so across up across up linking the two next you want to stick a redstone here 
and then repeater here, 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 redstone, 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 repeater, repeater. Okay, so the timing for these repeaters is 4, 4, 2, 1, no, 4, and 1. Okay, so the reason this is, is so that all of the lines are finished going through. So if you rapidly chuck them in, they'll all finish being powered. And then this will go down, so it doesn't stuff up the circuit. So the reason why it's um, four, um, 16, because 4, 4, 4, plus 3, plus 1, plus two, um, 1 is 16, is because that gives it enough time. So f um, this is 12. And then it will give a four tick delay for everything to sort itself out and then it pushes down. Okay, so this is pretty much the reset line. So if I give you another example here, one, two, there you go, and three, and then you need to put in the fourth, four. Then the current can come out here and then. Huh. Why didn't that work? Hmm. Hang on guys while I sort out this problem. Okay, I'm back and I've noticed a problem. It's everything is right, it's just where I put the button. The reason why this is set on a one tick pulser is so that when it enters this block it only lasts four ticks, so that this current isn't too long. So if I redo this and stick um, from here, it'll send the tick pulse out. It's a little longer, and then you see how it's just a short pulse instead of that long two-second pulse from the button. So if I do the remaining three, so one, two, three, one. A little weird piston glitch. This one didn't go up because it's a little um, glitch from um, my server Minecraft, but it wouldn't have been able to push these down if it wasn't up because the current has to go through here as seen because the pist um, the pist repeater will power the block which powers this piston which allows it to reset okay so next I'll show you how to build the payment actual payment part okay so now I'm gonna make where the items are dispensed when you've paid for your item in order to do that you're gonna have to build a cross one and up one and then go a line across like so oops um, and then a line of dispensers above that like so except for the first one here on the very left you're gonna okay let me just set the time okay next you're gonna stick a line above these dispensers and another line above that so that's four lines in total four high in total on the fifth height, you'll build two blocks out from the left. Put a redstone lamp there. Block, lamp, block, lamp, block, lamp, and finally ending with a block. Next, you're going to stick another line on top of that. Okay. Now we're going to build out um, over here to hide all this redstone, like so. Just a line all the way up to the six. Uh, yep. You can change how this looks by um, adding cool wall patterns. You can like stick a whole bunch of signs, a donation box, whatever you want here, really. But uh, you can even have like some sort of door that leads into this area, so you can go pick up your payments. Okay, so that's it. Oh, one thing I want to mention is if you're going to light this place up be very very careful not to melt the, the eyes so glowstone which is this and torches um, here will melt ice if you didn't know that glowstone will melt ice within two blocks so it will melt it if it's um, anywhere within this area here so if you put it in this area here it will still melt that ice so about two blocks and well three blocks really no, it's about there actually. And a torch will melt a block that is melted if it's directly next to it, or about two underneath. Oh, I mean like around underneath. So if I stick a torch here, 
it'll melt the ice here because it's one block underneath it but um, if um, you have this little barrier here and stick a torch on top you're fine but if you put any glowstone there it will melt the ice just thought you guys should know anyways going back to this payment system the, f um, the first thing you want to do is set up the line to actually get these dispensers to dispense so you're going to build out a line directly behind these dispensers and stick um, a line of redstone on top of that and then you're going to build this out one more then build it across until it is in line with the end of our previous shift register like so next from here you're just going to build across down one and then one more so that it can connect up to this okay so this next part you're going to stick redstone all the way here then you'll stick some repeaters you don't need to use as many repeaters as I use here but I guess I just like filling up the area with unneeded repeaters like so if I really need a delay I'll do it like that in fact really you could just use like free those free repeaters here and just stick another one here at the end so that the power goes through but I like this that's the way I built it it's the way I like it okay so when this goes through what happens is um this little thing will activate and it will go around here and then activate these um, this line here shooting out a whole bunch of whatever you stick in there which I chose wool for in the demonstration okay so next I'm gonna show you uh, how to build the little area behind these lights so that when you hit it it lights up uh, when you pay it lights up and makes that little note block sound so to do that you need to build out two from each one and destroy that block pretty much what I'm gonna build here is that um, this RS nor latch I showed you earlier except with an inverter so you go then you go down across one like so across one more and up across one Oop. placing blocks everywhere that they're not meant to be okay next you're gonna stick a torch at the end where the redstone lamp is so one two three oh not there three four and that is where you stick the redstone next you're gonna stick a piece of dust on top of all of these like so torches on this end here Oop. like so a uh, part going into the actual thing itself with a repeater and as you can see they turn off because there's an inverter here which because this is powered this block it turns off the torch okay I'll show you how to put the node block in very la at the last part so pretty much how this works is um, when this side is powered like so it will turn this on and st oh oh I forgot the part sorry you need to stick a block above these repeaters good thing I tested that it would have been silly and a oh, um, torch in front of that and since these parts are now here because I forgot them no wonder it looked weird stick torches on top of those grab your nerd block and stick a nerd block on top of no 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 I was thinking of a previous design I'm sorry again um, but pretty much um, when this activates it'll turn on turn this part off which turn allows this to turn on sending a signal invert um, in reverting the signal back to normal turning this on so as you can see there's a payment and then um, we'll add a reset line now that will turn these back on af after this payment has gone through so that they all turn off so one like so so pretty much what I've done here is a sort of um, checkerboard pattern uh, one above each of these dusts and one in between each dust next you're gonna stick a repeater in between all of these no delay 
except for this first one you want to stick a four take delay okay um, next from here you're just going to want to build up so build probably build out two no one from each end and then start going down or end up like so so they meet this is the way I did it next I stuck um, a repeater here head it up and a repeater there I think this is how I did it I might have done it a little differently oh, I did do it differently um, I built this one across three that one across one uh, two, this one across two this one across one and stuck the re a third repeater here this is just a delay so after the payment these lights will stay on for a little bit and then they'll turn off they, so you can really make it if you want that they'll turn off straight after the payment but I like the way I've done it <coughs> now um, from let me try to remember <coughs> I'll be right back while I check how I did the note blocks part Okay, I'm back, and it turns out the way I thought I did it was right. So you're going to stick repeaters here. Um, on t So that when these blocks get powered, it brings it out on 4 tick delays. On top of these, you want to stick uh, no blocks. Since there's a torch underneath them, um, it counts as an entity, so it still counts as air. So it'll still sound like a piano, like that. Okay. So what happens here is when, um, let me just reset this first quickly. So what happens is um, when this turns on, it'll hit this note block once, like so, and turn the light on. And then when the line goes through, the note block, it'll give, um, these four tick delays will give the note, ty note blocks time to reset. When this block is powered, it'll go down, reset the thing. And then this will no block will ha play one more time, making a little melody. You can really make it any um, change the no blocks in any way you want. But how I do it is C D um, E and F. So C is six notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. D is eight notes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. D is um, 10 notes, 1, uh, E, sorry, E is 10 notes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then, um, F is 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so then it makes a little melody, so if I play it here, you'll hear the doo it sounded a little off because of my computer and the little redstone lag. And that is this part. I'm going to show you now how to connect these parts into the system here, the shift register. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to connect this to this. The first thing you want to do is build out one from all of these. Okay, next you're going to build up one, like so and you're going to connect them in order to so this one to that the second one to this third one to this I'll show you how to do the fourth one later there is no exact way of doing this so I'm just going to show you the way I did it so I went out from the first one I built it all the way across to the wall built it out here until it's one away from in line with this then I built it in a sort of weird um, corner pattern and then out one more then I just stuck a redstone um, repeater here, another one about here-ish, I guess, or end here. So a total of three redstone repeaters, it's also a one tick delay. And then you just fill in the rest with dust, so when this part is up, bam, like that, it'll go on through over here and power this RS nor latch. You don't have to worry about it being powered again when the next part comes on, because once again, this is an RS nor latch. It's a memory system, as I showed you before. If I turn on this side, no matter how many times you turn it back on, nothing will happen until the other side is reset like so. And then, you, okay, so the next part. 
I built out so it's there's a one block gap here then I built out here here across here one across here one and then across here until it connects to this okay the only problem I've had with this one is um that it some might interfere with this so I start decided to stick um it might but I'll just build this up first once again with three repeaters in areas this is probably not going to be exactly the same way as the world safe once again my computer got wiped so I just rebuilt everything quickly and tried to get this out to you guys as fast as I could so the next part you want to stick a repeater here um, up to this then out probably yeah out across leaving one block gap again and then connecting it. So, yeah this is definitely different than the way I did it before but it still works so one you need three so one there two probably around here and three about here and then you just connect them up okay so for this final part you're gonna want to connect it here all the way up to here so to do that you're gonna build down one oop, two uh, three I think it was and then just line it up like so yeah this is once again not the same way I did it in the world save but it still works still the same concept so you want to still stick the free repeater so there's the first one the second one the and oh I need a third one so I'll just stick it about here-ish okay and then connect it up truthfully if you really wanted to you could just um, put one um, repeater here because there's already a free tick delay here you can just stick one repeater and it'll just become four and then you can just adjust all this timing if you want but pretty much this what happens now is when um, this is powered it'll go on through up to this and power this still like the rest okay so a brief overview First of all, let me just get. Okay, cool, I have emeralds. Now, let me just fill this up with some emeralds stack. Okay, so first of all, when you pay for the system, um, the block will go down here. It will stop because of the new item stacking mechanic of 1.3.1, which is now 1.3.2 because I rela released this video so late. So the emerald will go along here, stop here. The second the emerald be through will stop with that emerald and then won't activate this, which allows this um, circuit with a reset line here to go on all the way around, powers this, which powers the piston above it, powers the sand, which allows the current to go through, which um, does multiple things, goes over three directions. The first thing is um, it will activate this which will um, trigger the first one um, it will try and go through to the next one but since there is nothing there it won't go through um, it'll come around power this up then push that up repeats itself three times then on the fourth and then after three times it'll on the fourth one it'll go along here go all the way up here reset all of that go around and um, this bent it'll activate the fourth switch It'll come around here and set off all of these dispensers. Have a little bit of delay before coming up here, resetting the line, and then powering these node blocks to give a little tune. So if I fill these up with whatever wool I currently have on me, so red, orange, yellow, um, green, blue, pink, purple, black, white the colors of the rainbow except for the last two because rainbows are awesome <laughs> okay so then if I chuck these in so one let's fly up and see it in action oh that's a little glitch that sometimes happens um, yep it worked sorry it's just a little bug with my computer sometimes it lags and um, the it doesn't register um, the item coming out or anything and it just goes on through but let's try that again. This is a should work at almost every time. 
There we go. Then pushes it up, hits that first note as you heard, pushing that up. As I said, I use sand because it's easily seen, but you can easily just replace that with something like glowstone so that mobs won't spawn all over your stuff. But this first one must, must be out of sand so that when it comes back down, it'll fall. You could really just set up another piston up here and connect the line, but really that's just um, a little over the top, well, more over the top than it already is. <laughs> Next is the third payment, no, second payment, because the first one failed. There we go. There we go, two up there. I'm not sure if you heard that. Um, it's my computer once again, sometimes it doesn't register. There we go. And then finally the fourth one. Oop, missed. Terrible aim. Powering the last one. And then there goes older repeaters with a little thing at the end. So once again, this is also as fast as the pressure plate resets. The reason why you have to wait for the pressure plate to reset is it'll just constantly stay on. And since this is a one tick pulse system, it won't do anything because this needs to res the torch needs to reset to do that again. It's so that in um I guess um it's not the best if you could somehow make a system where you can just chuck all four in quickly, that'd be cool. But it still works, it's still really cool. So one, two, three, four. I'm not sure if that first one registered because of that weird little really quick um glitch. Um, the reason why the fourth one didn't go off as um, early as bef like you couldn't hear it really is because I was too far. I don't know why, but it's just the way my computer works. And if you really wanted to, you could increase the delay like so, so that between the fourth one being turned on and the dispense here is longer so that you can see that you've paid. And then, boom, and you can even set this longer. So it takes longer for the lights to reset if you really want, but I like the system I've set up once again. And I will hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if Please like this video, leave a comment of what you thought, any ideas of um, redstone things you want to see, um, tutorials, anything like that. Um, leave it in the comments below. There's a, going to be a world save with a whole bunch of step-by-step -step instructions over here. And it's becoming sundown, so I guess it's appropriate. Um, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching so much. Sun Grills 13S here, signing out.